right, I'm on a short ass leash for this cause um two reasons. It's dinner time and I'm currently making my dinner and it's in the oven and I have like about forty let's just say forty five minutes so it, I don't burn anything. Um till it's about to start pouring outside. And I know Yeah, you can hear that. So I know sometimes you hear thunder in the background of my videos. That's actually just ambient sound. This is an actual damn storm that's about, that's like a brewing outside. So, and I'm half eating and drinking, what about be pina colada? I know I said I was going to stop drinking, but I don't know, I'm hyped. Cause about a half hour ago, the Storny press conference ended and the news was rather on the popping side. And I'm just like, this is your fucking slaps. So, I want to only talk about two subjects, Ghostwire Tokyo and Resident Evil 8 Village. So, I'm going to start with Ghostwire Tokyo. When I saw Shinji, I was on the phone with my mom when Shinji came with. And we all know I have a minor crush, major crush on creator, director, father of survival horror, Shinji Mikami. And when I saw him, I lost my shit. I probably blew my poor mother's eardrums right out of her skull because I was like, oh my god, they're going to talk about Ghostwire Tokyo. So, um, it, Jesus, it is looking like it is going to take like a supernatural-esque theme because it was like some schoolgirl walking around with no damn head and it was just like, oh shit, what the fuck is happening here? So, I don't even know, but... And then with some dude, like, battling this supernatural schoolgirl with no head. And then there was this other guy that was doing stuff. And it was just like, I would love to know what the premise for Ghostwire Tokyo is about. Because it seems interesting. It seems like, while it's not going to be horror in the horror sense, it seems like it's going to be horror adjacent, at least. And I know when I was reading up on it last year, when they talked about it, touched on it last year, um... It was looking, they were saying, like, it was going to have supernatural elements to what it was talking. But, it looks extremely interesting. And the graphics are amazing. And it looks like it's like an action game with paranormal elements. And, I don't know, it just looks really, 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 really interesting. So, I would just like to know a little bit more. I know Shinji has been making the rounds on a lot of stuff. I'm like, I think he just did a, an interview with IGN or Rent. Um, I think he just did an interview with them. But I know he's been making the rounds. And it's slated, apparently, to come out next year. It didn't have a release date when they talked about it last year. So it looks like it's about to come out next year, which is fine. So and it, it might be something that may be exclusive to PS5. I do not know. They did not say. There was no reference to, you know... If it was going to come out for just that, or if it was just because it was the PlayStation press conference, why would they debut shit that's not going that's going to be on other shit? Although I don't fucking know. So they had a. If, I know I said I was only going to talk about two. It's actually going to be three. I'm going to slide this in there. There was this one game with these robots that looked like they killed all the humans, and the only thing I could think of was um, um, Flight of the Concord song, "The Humans Are Dead." So that's what I kept thinking. I mean, they had poisonous gases and they poisoned our human asses. So that's what I was thinking when I was when I was talking about stray. But it was it's this cat going around. But as you will see, this cat walking around in various places. There's a picture actually at one point where it says no cats. So I'm like, what the what the fuck is this game about? And then they show the cat and it's like meow and it's this stray. And I'm just like. Can I get more information on Stray? Because <laughs> that looked kind of interesting. So, Stray is happening. There's a gnat in here. What the fuck? Um, so, Stray is happening. Ghostwire Tokyo is happening. Now, since I'm really running out of time, this absorb is a brewing. Let me talk about fucking Resident Evil 8 The Village. Now, apparently one of the rumors I heard must have been true because Chris is on a rampage trying to kill, look like trying to kill Ethan, which would help my ass out because I am not an Ethan fan. And basically, at the 
I'm going to start at the tail end. He's like, I'm sorry to do this, but he just put multiple bullets in some chick who I'm thinking is Mia, and that helped me out too, because I am not a fan of Mia either, but it looked like he put a bunch of fucking bullets in her, and that was what it was about, and I was just like, well, damn, Chris, you kind of came up, but if this is another case of him going off the deep end, as only Chris Redfield can go, because I am I am still sick of that plot line. And I am still not very pro, um, a Kristen, Kristen, don't make that a thing, people. I said it by accident because I'm slightly in the bag. But please not a Chris, a Chris Ethan joint because I can't do it. I can't. I can't. But, mm -hmm. before y'all start hitting the dislike button and getting all over my shit, that's because, and this is what I said on Instagram. While I may not be a fan of that plot line, it could be a case where in practice it's better than it is than it sounds on paper. On paper, I'm just like, why y'all put my two least, least fucking favorite Resident Evil folks in a fucking game to make me go slightly off the wall? But Chris just blew somebody away at the end of that and it was just like, well, goddamn, Chris, the fuck, man? You just came in and blew that chick away. Well, one of the early rumors I had heard was Ethan and them, Ethan and Mia go off into the mist together or what the fuck ever. They end up having a kid because they were all fucked up with that whole, like, molded situation. Um, when she has her kid with Ethan, ill, um, the kid is all fucked up and all, like, gross and mutated and shit. So... Like, Chris, I guess, is on a rampage. <laughs> He's, like, rampaging to kill their kid because their kid is all fucked up and mutated. I don't know. There was a clip in there. If we looked at that clip, there was a little clip of a baby. So, but the baby, it was, like, such a short clip. But the baby didn't look fucked up to me. But just because something look, don't look fucked up don't mean it is not fucked up. So, I don't know. But, the fact that he put two and some chick on the... She was already down. He just, like, blew her ass away. I'm like, well, goddamn, Chris, shit. Welcome to the Wesker side of the world. This population, you and Wesker, so... Have fun with that home skillet. But, for as much as I'm not... Still not of huge pro-Chris Ethan storyline, it may be better in practice than, than on paper but I'm gonna say this again before y'all start giving me shit I thought it fucking slapped it slapped motherfucking hard and I'm looking forward to that I'm looking forward to that way more than I'm looking forward to a Resident Evil 4 remake and honestly I don't see the point I don't see the point of remaking Resident Evil 4 anyway but I don't see the point of remaking Resident Evil 4 just having come off of doing Resident Evil 8, which is pretty much the same premise that you're in a village running away from fucked upness. So, it just seems kind of like, to me, an all that for that situation. Why don't you just do what everybody's been asking for, which is to redo fucking Code Veronica, and do that. But no, apparently, they're like, dug in to wanting to do Resident Evil 4 over, and I'm just like, that is so fucking redundant when you think about it on its face. So, I don't know. I got some fool, some fuckery from Capcom talking about, oh, our ambassador program, I'm gonna be bronze till the day I die, and I don't give two shits either. Because I can't play video, I can't play horror games unless, I can't play horror games. Like, if somebody could slide me some cheat codes where I didn't die or didn't, like, have a situation, <laughs> then I could play horror games. I love horror games. I just can't fucking play them because I take the shit way too fucking real. Like, I take it on a literal scale. I get so fucked up and scared about shit that I'm just, I have nightmares. <laughs> My life is ruined. I can't be playing horror games like that no more, so... I will be bronze till the day I die. And I'm perfectly fine for that. To the day I die or like Capcom stops having their ambassador program, but I don't know. 
So, in a nutshell, Resident Evil 8 has my seal of approval. I honestly wish they had done a year without a Resident Evil and just left it three make off to the mist and not even fucking dealt with that. And I don't see the point, especially like all those clips. I really don't see the point of doing four when eight is going to cover that spot. I just, I understand you want to make money year over year, but Capcom, please rethink Resident Evil 4. I know they've probably been working on it for a while, but stop yourself. You can stop yourself at any given point in time. Please stop yourself. Because it's, it's actually going to be redundant. I'm not saying that the, the 4 remake is going to be bad. I don't have any hard, hard line stance on it. I just think it's just rather redundant and they need to stop like me repeating myself but it is so I just I really wish I don't know I just wish they would do Cole Veronica or do something else in lieu of that because it just doesn't make sense so that is all I have it oh it was only 11 minutes so that's all I have it's actually short today so I am so glad I watched this sorry press conference. It was rather slaptastic. I did enjoy it. So, I kind of want a PS5, but I'm going to have to wait. I did not, I kept looking away, so I can't say if they gave what a price point is going to be for that. But if I had to guess, they're saying that it's going to be pretty expensive. They have a solid state drive in it that's supposed to be like some real fucking next level solid state drive. So if I had to guess, we talking like six fifty. Um. Uh uh, I can't be paying. For it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to literally wait like a year and some change for it. I mean, I waited a year and some change for a PlayStation Four, but I might literally have to wait. Plus, there wasn't a whole lot in terms for me to play, so I don't want to get something where it just kind of sits as an outlier for whatever how long to like they can conjure up something that's like adrian's ability to play so i'm just going to let it i'm we just see what it's talking price point wise and then we'll see what they come out with that i might be able to play so it's not just sitting around collecting dust and we'll deal from there but that is all i have and i will see y'all again at another point okay